Good morning and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be talking about something a little different, but it still hugely impacts our life. And we're going to be talking about our first year homeschooling, the 2024-2025 homeschool year. Um, I'm going to be showing you which curriculums I picked out for my third grader. And I'll show you some flip throughs. And then later on in the year, I'll give you a good review of how these actually worked out for us. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first subject that I'm going to talk about is math. Um, I chose to go with Apologia level three, and it just seemed like the easiest short, short instructions, but they mean a lot. There's no extra. Um, if that makes any sense. Let me show you a page. Like it's, this is a practice page. Like it's very to the point. Here's explaining how to add three digit numbers. They show you, they make it easier. They show you exactly how to do it. And they give you another example of it. And then on the back, it's just practice pages. And to me, I think that's the easiest. Keep it simple, no extra. And then this one right here is my book. And this just teaches me how to teach him. And then it's also filled with all of his activity sheets that I can pull out and teach him. So we will see how that one goes. Now let me show you, we chose Master Books, Language Lessons for Living Education. Um, I got grade three for him. And this is the same concept. Um, they're very short lessons, but they build off of each other and they seem to be, from what I've read, I think they're gonna be pretty impactful. Um, you have five lessons a week, so you do one every day. Like the very first lesson, you um, you read this passage to your child, the highlighted stuff they read to you. You answer questions, and then you have a simple activity to do. And then the second day, he's just writing his alphabet, making sure he's got the proper technique for his um, lettering. Um, this is just a little activity on day two, the day three, uh, working on punctuation, capitalization, day four, they have a little Bible passage that he copies just to work on his handwriting and day five, he fills in the words. And I'm pretty sure these are his spelling words, which they have spelling in here. Let me find it. They have a list of spelling words in the back that you can incorporate every week. Um, they don't do a lot of work throughout the curriculum on the spelling words. So I think I'm going to buy a separate spelling curriculum just to really help him out. And then this also is something else that you buy with this curriculum, 101 Favorite Stories from the Bible. And throughout this curriculum, it'll tell you when to read this. And it's just for them, for their language. Then we have another one from Masterbooks. And I chose the America Story 1. Actually, my husband picked this one out. Um, I got from 3rd to 6th grade. So it might be slightly advanced for him, but I think we're going to do... I think we're really going to enjoy it. Um, this right here is his book, and it looks just like a textbook. He goes through and he reads all the information. Um, I'm pretty sure we only do this three days a week. And then he's got a project at the end. We just go through. We read some. We answer questions. Um, let's see.
Yep, we, we spend a whole day just reading everything. And then we have um, questions for us to discuss. Um, we have sketching, so he can learn how to draw things from those time periods um, to figure out what he's learned. We have questions that he can answer. Um, who lived here first? Just where he can um, go through and label who lived where. Um, and then he has a timeline project. But I was wrong. We do we do these five days a week. They just have little things to do every day. But I think this will be really fun, and he will learn all about American history. Um, it says it's from the ancient Americas to the Great Gold Rush. There are America story one, two, and three, which goes all the way up into modern history. But we just have the first one. The next thing we have is our Bible curriculum. This one is his book. And it's pretty simple. We do this every day. Um, we just read, read passages, read stories in here, and then we apply it to life. Um, we have little quizzes throughout. There are little um, activities to do. And this is the one that he goes through and he fills out stuff. Um, and then this is the teacher edition, which it almost teaches me word. It almost teaches me word for word what to say and how to teach it and how to teach these biblical concepts to my third grader. Um, but you go through this whole page and um, it teaches you Bible verses to teach. There's a song that you can sing, um, the, the materials you need for um, the projects you're going to be doing, how to engage your child, how to instruct them. Um, it's just really, it's engaging. And then, um, there are also, um, tests that come along with it. I just have them put up right now. I have them unopened, but there are tests that go along with this. And this is an everyday thing as well. This is from, uh, BJU. I did a lot of BJU press. I did a lot of um, research on Bible curriculums, and I think this one just seemed the best for us. I mean, I haven't used it yet, so we will see. Then we have another history that I think would just be extremely interesting, Taking the Americas for Jesus. Um... These are from Generations, but this book begins with Noah and the Flood, and then it keeps going to figure out how the word of Jesus got throughout the Americas. Um, this covers about 20 centuries, and I think it would be super interesting just to find out how all of this came to Americas. But this right here is just a textbook. Um, that we read from and learn from. And then this is the student workbook that goes along with it. Um, and it's just his little questions, um, more questions, prayer points, and then the enrichment project. This is the one that we only do three days a week. Um, and I think it's just going to be super engaging. I have all of these little post-it notes in here because those are the ones that I think we're going to take field trips for and really go through and learn about these things. Then we have our science curriculum, which we got from The Good and the Beautiful. We chose mammals, but this is only going to get us through uh, nine weeks. I think it was nine weeks. Yeah, it'll get us through 14 weeks. So we'll have to get another one later on in the school year. I also have a preschooler that I bought the, the, the one for littles, and she will be going along with us with it. But it just has this um, really pretty 
and fun textbook that teaches all about mammals. And then he has his student journal that goes along with it. And it just really teaches him more. He can write on the pages, um, take extra notes. He's got things that he's supposed to cut out, like this one, labeling the parts of the bat. It's just going to be super interesting, and I think he'll find this class really fun. And then we have two little extras that um, I wanted to incorporate. We have 100 days of telling the time. This just helps with time telling. I think it's really important for him to be able to look at a clock and know exactly what time it's going to be. And every day he'll do one of these in the morning. And um, the first one, he just answers what time it is. The second one, he writes what time it is. There's no multiple choice. And then the third one, he draws the hands on the clock to show what time it is. And I think after days of this, it'll become like second nature to him. So there's that. And then I also picked up Common Backyard Weeds of the Upper Midwest. Um, here on our homestead, we have so many different types of weeds growing around. And my kids are growing up knowing that some weeds are medicine, um, some weeds are food. We grow a garden, so they're used to running outside and picking things to eat. So I feel like this is really important for them to be able to identify the weeds growing. We have um, the Virginia creeper growing around, which we found out my son is allergic to, so he needs to be able to identify that. Um, there, I'm sure there's other things that we probably shouldn't be touching around here. Um, some things are not good for us to eat. Some things are not medicine. And this is really just going to help them and help keep them safe since we do research weeds and plants and do things with them. So this will be something that we, maybe we learn about one a week. Maybe we learn about a couple a week. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to go about this. But I think it'll be really helpful. And that's it. I'll have another video coming out about what we are teaching my preschooler. She doesn't really have, like, set curriculums, but I have books for her to go through and for us to learn. Um, and then I will also post a video about the supplies that I'm using. I have a whole cart. Um, but, yeah, there will be a couple homeschool videos coming out, and then we'll be back to the regular home study content. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.